everyone, this is Yolanda from the Outcrafts channel and today's tutorial is going to, uh, you're going to learn how to make this cute little um, satchel. You could use it to put uh, lavender or potpourri, then you could put them in the, your dressers, hang them um, like by the little ribbon in your closets. And this is um, just using a granny stitch, basic stitch, and our basic stitches, a little bit of ribbon. And then also I'm going to show you how you make the little line pouch that goes inside so you don't lose anything. This is also great for putting things like your um, toiletries or maybe jewelry or whatever it is when you're traveling. You don't want to lose it. Um, you can also use them um, without the lining in here and you could use them as uh, put a piece of soap bar soap in there and you could use them for your little scrubby so they don't fall and you don't lose your soap in the bath bathtub or shower. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and let's get the party started. Okay, to begin I'm going to be using cotton yarn and just the whatever colors you want to use. Um, and you could use all one color or different colors. I'm going to be using a size H hook which is a number 8. It's 5.00 uh, millimeters. We're going to begin with, I'm going to begin with my green, but you can begin with whatever color you want. And this color will be um, where we will work the trim around the edge for it. I'm going to begin by chaining 44 stitches. So here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I want you to go ahead and start and do 44 chains. Okay, I have completed my 44 chains. So what I'm going to do, my first row here, I'm going to ch uh, chain, begin, uh, work my stitches beginning in the fourth chain from the hook. So here's one, two, three, and on the fourth, um, on the fourth chain here, I'm going to do one double crochet. To do the double crochet, you're going to yarn over, meaning you wrap the yarn over your hook. You're going to go into that fourth chain. You're going to pull out your yarn. Okay. There's three loops on your hook. You pull, grab your yarn, pull through two, there'll be two left, and then you pull through the next two, okay? So now after we do that, you're going to chain one, and you're gonna skip three chains in the bottom. One, here's one, two, three. So here on the fourth chain, now I want you to do three double crochets into that same chain. So I'm gonna yarn over, Go into that chain, do three double crochets. Here's my first one, second, I'm gonna move this yarn here, and my third double crochet all into the same chain. Now I'm going to chain one and repeat what I just did. So here's one two, three, then on the fourth chain, I'm going to go ahead and do my three double crochets. After I do that, then I chain one and repeat all the way across to the end. If you want to do it not as big as this, you can do your um, beginning chain smaller, just do it in multiples of four. So here's my second, third, I'm going to chain one, here. And then I'm going to repeat until I get to the end. So go ahead and do that all the way across. Okay, here I'm going to come to the last um, stitch, my last chain. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that in the last chain you're only going to do two double crochets instead of three because we need to match the same design as the end. So here I'm going to skip one, two, three, and then in my last chain I'm going to do two double crochets. But before I finish my second chain, um, double crochet, I'm going to switch colors. If you're using the same color all across, then you don't have to worry about this. So here, for my last double crochet, I'm going to go in, pull out right there, pull through my first loop. But before I change my yarn, okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. If you're going to be using the same color, then don't worry about it. I'm going to grab my, I'm going to go, my next row is going to be pink. So I'm grabbing my pink yarn. I'm going to pull that one through. Okay, so then my yarn, my loop is coming already the color that I need. 
gonna tie these two together. Some people just work them through, but um, I want to make sure they don't fall apart. Okay. And these loops, I'm gonna work them in the uh, end when I'm doing my single crochet. I will hide these um, tails. I'm gonna do a row of single crochet around the edges, so then I'll be able to hide this tail, um, these two tails. Um, so here, I'm gonna go ahead and to move up to my next row. Now I'm gonna chain three. So here you're gonna chain three. One, two, three, and now we have our new color. And like I said, these tails I will work into my last row of single crochet. So here I'm going to turn my work over. And now I'm going to be going into my next space here where the chain one was. And right there I'm going to be working, this counts as, a, as one double crochet. So here now I'm going to go into my next space and work three double crochets into the next space. So here's one, two, and three. Okay, and now here, after I do that, I'm going to chain one. Excuse me. We're going to do basically what we did in our first row. Once you do your three double crochets, you chain one. You're going to skip your next double crochet, triple, um, your next uh, work here of the three double crochets, skip that. The one chain is going over that. And then here, you repeat three double crochets. Two. Pull my yarn out here. And three. Once you do that, my three double crochets, chain one repeat my three double crochets in the next space followed by a chain one. You're going to repeat that all the way across your last and when you get to the last stitch here after we do this here, here you're going to do three double crochets and then when you get here after you do your three double crochets there will be no chain but you're going to uh, do a double crochet on top of the third, third chain here okay when we moved up so I'm going to go ahead and work to the end. Before I get there, I'll show you how to do that last stitch. So just keep working your three double crochets. Oops, sorry, that's the phone. Chain one, three double crochets across. And then I'll work, we'll work the last stitch together. So go ahead and do that. And I'll be back to work the last stitch. Okay, I'm coming to my, okay, I'm coming to my last space. So here I'm going to chain one, do my three double crochets. And this stitch is really great if you want to do a granny square looking blanket but you know how if you just start keeping adding rows and rows to the granny square it's going to be a huge square so if you want to make it with this stitch but make it rectangle like an, a regular blanket a baby blanket or even a blanket for your bed use the same stitch you just need to make as many chains across as you need for the width of your blanket just make sure that they're in multiples of four so whether you know however big you have it. So here when we come to the end, just like the beginning, we're not going to do a single uh, a chain here. What we're going to do is that we're going to do a double crochet on top of our third chain here. One, two, and three. I'm going to yarn over and do my last stitch is going to be on top of that chain three. I'm going to pull through my second, my first two loops. The next two, I'm going to leave I'm going to change my yarn because I'm changing yarn in every row. If you're not changing yarn in every row, then of course you don't have to do this. I'm going to be go ahead and cut my yarn. I'm going to put my next color in. So you, if you're doing, um, I'm doing this for in cotton, but you can use it in any color, um, in any type of yarn. Just make sure you use a hook that goes for that size. I mean, if you're using a fingering weight, obviously you would want to use a uh, uh, smaller hook. This I'm just making my little square, my little rectangle basically, like kind of like it's fabric, right? I'm gonna work with that. So here is my edge here. Turn it over. I'm gonna make my knot and then I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna be hiding my tails on the work that I'm going to do around the edge when I later on. I'm not, I'll show you how I do that. So this you can do 
um, all one solid color. The size that I'm using for this is um, the swatch. The gauge is not important because remember it's just going to be folded over. We're going to sew it so that's not going to be that huge for this thing. If you're trying to make a garment with this then make sure you measure out how much you knew it. And you can make a tank top. You make your front this way and your back and then your straps you can make them this way. So I might be doing that in the summer colors because I got some white yarn so I was thinking about doing that. So here we're going to repeat the same thing we've been doing. Um, our first, this row we just have one double crochet at the ends. But our next ones are going to have two. So every other row. Um, our even rows are going to have one double crochet in the beginning and at the end. Because remember the chain three counts as a double crochet. And our, e our even, like this one, the first row, the second row, I'm sorry, I should say the odd rows, I have two, the even have one. So here I'm going to chain three to go to my next row, one, two, and three. And now I'm just going to repeat row one. So we're going to have row one and two, and then we just repeat them. So here I chain three, I'm going to turn my work over, and then I'm going to go ahead and make my next double crochet into that same stitch okay right there usually we don't go into that stitch at all but here we're going to go ahead and do our double crochet yarn over and we're going to go into that same stitch and now we have the same thing that we have down here two double crochets the second row only has one so once i do that i'm going to go ahead and chain one and work my three double crochets like you normally do so here's going to be my three double crochets all the way to the end. And in our last our last set of two double crochets is going to be worked here on top of the third chain from our previous row. So that's going to be our last double crochet there. So here we'll have our three double crochet and then we're going to chain one and then do our two double crochets. And then you're just going to repeat the rows, alternate them. So here is my next row. So see I'm doing just these colors. Use whatever colors you like. Oops, here, oops. Let's miss that one. Two and three. Then I'm going to chain one, repeat all the way across. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you here and we'll work our last two stitches together, our last two double crochets together. And see you're forming that granny square look in a long piece of rectangle. Okay I'm coming to the end here so I'm gonna do my chain one and then I'm gonna do my last stitches the two double crochets on top of the third chain so here's one two and three okay and I'm gonna be changing yarn in every um, changing colors in every row so I'm not going to finish my last double crochet here for you because I want to make sure that I'm able to change my yarn but this is the whole that's it that's the whole pattern it's um, really easy once you get it um, you're just going to repeat rows one and two so this is one two then I'm repeating row one again so then I would do row two again you're just going to alternate it and there's that's it there's no changes just remember that when your your first row is gonna your um, odd rows are gonna have two double crochets at the end. Okay, remember the chain three counts as one double crochet, and the even rows are only gonna have one double crochet at the end. And then we go back to the odd uh, the third is two, and then the fourth would have one, then the fifth would have two. Just you know the two again. So I'm gonna re you're gonna repeat this till this piece measures from here to the top about five inches if you want to make it bigger that's up to you maybe you want to put something larger in there so here it's only about two inches so I'm gonna make sure that it goes to about five either five to five and a half because I want to have it big enough where I can put my drawstring in and it won't be too small so that's going to be about uh, if you're working in um, excuse me if you're working in centimeters it would be about uh, maybe 13 to 14. sorry everyone I think my camera shut off 
So like I was saying, I want to make this about between five to five and a half inches in height. So, um, because I don't want it to be too small. So if you're um, working in centimeters, it would be between 13 to 14 centimeters. You want it to be that high. And your width is going to be about 11 inches or so, okay? So go ahead and continue doing this, repeating rows one and two until your piece measures between five and five and a half inches. I'm going to be changing my yarn after every every um, row, but that's totally up to you how you decide to do that. So go ahead and do that and we'll come back and we'll work the edge. Okay, I finish my little rectangle. So see, this is why I was saying this makes a perfect uh, stitch for a blanket. If you like the granny stitch um, look, but you don't want it to be a square because it just keeps getting out of a weird shape. So here, it measures about five and a half inches there. So it would be the perfect size. And for me, I did nine rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine rows. So here I finished my last, my last stitch here. So here I'm gonna chain one, okay? And I'm going to turn my work over and I'm gonna work a, a round of single crochet all the way around and then I'm going to work in my tails as I go. So here is going to be easy, of course, because it's just right on top of your same stitches. So here I just start one single crochet in every stitch. So here's my second one. And then of course here is, let me get here a little bit closer so you can see that. So then here's the stitch that I did the chain. So then between our um, double crochet, so there's another one. So this is, I'm gonna do all the way across. So I want you to do one single crochet in each stitch across. And I like these colors. This is some color, um, some of the yarn I had left over from a beach bag I did. I hope you saw that tutorial. That bag, I love that bag because I could put everything in there. I put my little, uh, little uh, blanket that I use when I go to the park or the beach and and then I could put everything in there. I could put my extra tennies or whatever I'm gonna need. I just throw it in there. So here I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way across and do one single crochet all the way to the end. When you get to the end, I'll show you how we're, we're gonna work those on the sides and how we're gonna bury these tails. Okay, here I'm coming to my last stitch, which will be on top of the third chain here. Okay, so since we're in this corner, I need to go around, so I'm gonna add two more. So there'll be three single crochets into your last um, corner there, okay? One, two, and three. So now we're going to work up the sides. The bottom will be easy also because it has your stitches are there clearly marked the foundation chain and then this, this side you'll do the same way I'm working this side. So here we're going to be working um, some single crochets into the post not underneath because that's going to make a big hole and what we're trying to do is make a section that we can sew um, use to sew our stitches together. So let me see if I can put this a little bit closer so you can see. So what I'm going to do here, I'm also going to be burying these tails. They're going naturally down, so I'm just going to go ahead and let them fall down. So on these um, these stitches, where well, you see these two little posts with a double crochet, we're going to do one double crochet in here. So there's one. And then you see the next stitch here. We're going to do the next one. It's going to be onto the top of our next double crochet. Okay, so this goes one right there and then one here, so there's two. Now we're going back into the post, just like that. I'm gonna put these tails down so that I could catch them as I go along. Oops, let me move the camera here, guys. It's going a little bit crazy here. And so here, sorry guys, I'm gonna go ahead and move these tails down and catch them as I go along. They're really long, so I'm gonna trim them. I'm not gonna, you don't have to leave them that long. So here, you're gonna go into your next double crochet post and get your first single crochet right there. The next double crochet will go into the top here of your, it's basically like we would be making the ridge and keep holding those tails down. See that? So we're hiding those tails in there. The next one then goes back into the post holding the tails down. They're getting um, stitched into 
the seam see so now your tail is going to be going there you can see the little knot there but don't worry that's going to go on the inside so now I'm just going to continue doing that as I work the tails along my next one's going to go here the top the double crochet and now here I've already those tails have been buried for that whole row I'm going to trim these the white and the green that we were just using and now we're going to start doing the same thing but we're going to do it with our next two tails so here once again now I'm going into this to the, the uh, double crochet post do my single crochet and hide my tail in there my next one goes on top of the double crochet and I keep holding that tail and I keep hiding it there okay next one into the double crochet post continue to hide my tails and usually I do I hide them for you know for one row then my next one's going to go on top okay so I've already hid those for that one row so now I'm going to trim the yellow and the pink so this is how I want you to continue all the way to the bottom here now I'm going into my next space but now I'm going to be hiding the yellow and the light the little mint green okay so here goes into my next double crochet post as I'm hiding this other tail don't worry about these little knots showing they'll be hidden inside the bag and just continue that way see I'm almost to the bottom there it's, oops there's caught a little bit of the yellow so see that wasn't too bad huh we're catching the yarn and hiding it since this stitch is really open if you prefer you can go ahead and sew them all weave them all in if you really like to do that better so once I've gone here to my next one I've I've held them down pretty long so now I cut cut this the yellow and the white make sure you don't cut the wrong string and now I just have one small section to hide these last two it's the pink and the yellow we're gonna hide that work it in there Our next stitch and this I'm gonna hide it now all the way to the bottom so here's my next double crochet post go and then my last stitches are going to be here in my corner my first chain and remember there I want to do three so it's one two and three and I'm going to oops let me get this pink one out three and now I'm going to trim that edge those uh, tails because they've already been hidden in there there we go I could cut this off and so you've worked your single crochets there and you've hidden the tails at the same time and so now just continue work your opposite side here this other end here I want you to work it the same way that I worked this side okay when you come here you're going to work them hide your tails just put them down like this and then just hide them all the way to the end and then here I've already done the three so now here I'm just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way across so go ahead and do that all the way around and then when we get to the when you get to your last stitch here in the corner we'll stop and then if uh, we're sure you could either do an optional trim on top or you could leave it this way but I'll show you how I'm going to be working that little trim on top okay everyone I've done my single crochet um, row all the way around if you want to do a second one that's up to you this is you you can finish just here or you could add a trim along the top if um, I'm going to be lining my little satchel here so I cut out two pieces of fabric I'm just using a cotton um, it's actually nylon blend and I just put it on top just make it cut it out about the same size as your rectangle here I did two of them remember whatever fabric you use it's going to show through so when I put it underneath it's going to show through to the other side so just be aware of that so if you don't want to roll you know you want to make sure your your fabrics match or they're just neutral so here is the finished um, bag if you want to do it this way and also if you want to do just like a row of little peacock, peacock stitches or you want to do any kind of border you can do a border along this top edge 
So, um, I think I'm just going to do a border of one, two, and then three. I'm going to slip stitch into one, two, three, single crochet into my little stitch here. And just make a little loop like that of little, um, of three stitches. You could also de do a, a peacock stitch, whatever you want. One, two, three. Then I'm going to skip my little shells here and do it in my next stitch. Just like that. Just to have a little edge. You can leave it just plain if you want. It's totally up to you. If you want to do another edging with flowers or whatever you are you're want to do, that's completely okay. I'm just going to do that. And remember, we're just going to do that on this top end. Nowhere else. So here, one, two, and three. So I'm going to finish this across. And when I get to the end, I'm just going to fasten off. I'm going to leave a long tail because I'm going to sew my little um, pouch. I'm going to fold it over with the right sides together, the pretty sides together. So here. I keep trying not to crochet so tight, but I always do anyway. Three. I'm almost at the end. Sorry guys, I hope I'm not boring you. So this is the little edge I'm just going to have on top. One, two, three. And we're almost at the end. And remember, you're going to leave a like super long tail so you could sew around. Three, here, and my last set. Here we go on the corner. One, put that to there, a little crochet. And now I'm going to make a long tail, maybe like 20 inches. I'm going to use this to sew around the edges. So go ahead and cut that. Then I'm just going to pull that through. Okay. So it's a pretty long tail. And now I'm going to thread my end. So here I'm just going to have this little edge here on top. I'm going to fold. Let's see if I could go back here so you can see what I'm doing. So here, it's a really long string here. So here, I'm going to fold these together this way because this is the right side and this is the wrong side, so I'm going to put them like this and I'm going to sew these along this end and this end and then here I'm going to just fasten off and sew in my tails so go ahead I'm going to go get my needle and we'll start sewing this edge okay so here I'm going to get my string it's on my needle I'm going to bring it to the middle one here in the corner Sometimes I don't like to do the yarn that long. So here, I'm just going to sew across. Just slip stitching it. I'm using this the, the um, row of the single crochet that we made to be able to grab my yarn right there. Just like that. I'm going through every chain. Go to the next one. Just like that. Going through my knit set. And I'm going to continue sewing this, catching the tail, the excuse me, the little chains here of my single crochet stitches. So I'm going to sew from here to this corner and then end here in the middle. And then I'm going to turn it inside out. So this is how you're going to sew it. So go ahead and finish sewing your little piece here. Let me see if I can get it closer. So you're just going in. Coming out to the other point, just like that. So go ahead and finish doing this, and I'll be back, and then we'll show how to sew your little lining. Okay, here I've come to the end. So here I'm just going to um, go through my last stitch here and just make a little knot through there, like that make a little knot 
And then I'm going to cut, I'm just going to kind of weave my tail in. This is a super long tail, so I'm not going to weave all this tail, of course. Just trying to hide the end. And maybe back a few stitches, just like that. Cut that off. Okay, so now, this is the wrong side, okay? So, let's see, you can see our stitches this is the wrong side. So I'm going to turn this right side in. Right side out, excuse me. So, just turn my little satchel there. Isn't that the cutest little thing? So, your little satchel is ready. Now, to line it, I'm going to get two my two rectangles and I'm going to sew these the same way. I'm going to put them together like this. You could sew them on the sewing machine if you have one. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can do it by hand. So here is my next piece. So both of these, I'm going to sew the same way. I'm going to sew here to that corner and then to the other side. My other one the same way from here. Oops, let me put this straighten this out here. From this top corner to here. And we leave the top open for our opening. So I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and do that now. Um, and then we'll come back, stick them inside of each other, and then turn them out and just sew the top together. So let me go sew these and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to be using darker thread so you can see what I'm doing, but you would want to do yours in uh, matching thread. So here I've just folded over my rectangle. I'm going to go here. I'm going to use about one fourth of an inch seam allowance. Turn this on. Right there. I'm just going to start with a straight stitch and then tack the bottom, the beginning down. I'm not going to pin it as I'm not going to pin it because it's such a small little piece. I'm going to go back. And then in the corner, I'm going to, with my needle in the fabric, I'm going to lift up my presser foot and turn my work around, pivot it, just like that. And then I'm going to sew my other edge. When I come to the end, I'm going to tack it down the middle. Okay, so this is what you're going to do to both sides, just like that. You're going to do your little edge. I'm going to do my other piece, and then I'm going to put it inside of each other, okay? Just the same way. I'm going to lift this up, my thread there, so it doesn't get tangled up. to my other end. Okay, so once I do that, they're both, the wrong sides are out, okay? So this one, one of them, only one, you're going to turn one of them inside out with the right, excuse me, the right side out, okay? And this one is going to stay this way. Now, we're going to get this one and stick it inside of the other one. Let me see if I can show you better there. So I'm going to be, one is this out just like this. This one is already flipped over. So I want both of my right sides, the pretty color of the fabric, facing each other. So I'm going to put one of the bags inside the other one. That way both sides are going to look really pretty, okay? And just kind of smooth it out. If you want to pin it, you can. You're going to sew all the way around, but I want you to leave maybe about, uh, maybe two inches or so on, um, on, without being sewn in. So here I'll show you what I mean by that. Just going to go in here and sew around the edge. Uh -oh. My thread was going to come out undone here. So let me put that in there. And 
Make sure you grab your pieces together. I can put it. Sorry guys, I'm trying to work the camera and do this at the same time, so. It's gonna go around. Grabbing the edges together. Gonna work them around. Almost going around to the other side. And we're ending at our beginning again. I'm going to leave some I'm going to leave a portion of that unsewn uns, uh, because now here that piece that's open you're going to get your pieces and you're going to turn it inside out like that okay but first I'm going to trim some of my little edges here so they're not too big okay so I'm just going to turn it out work it all outside and it just kind of looks like a mess, but we're going to pull them out. Yeah. Just like this. Get them all out. And just like this, this has a two, the right sides. I'm going to flip one of my right sides inside the other one, just like this. So when you see it from the outside of the bag, you'll see the right side. And when you see the inside, it'll be fully lined also. And this here, the opening that we didn't sew, that tiny little piece here, I'm just going to sew it sh shut with my uh, hand sewing. But I'm going to use a lighter color because I don't want this dark color to show. Okay? If you have your machine already set up with the white color, then you could just sew this shut on this little seam right there. So I don't have my machine to set with a darker color, so I'm going to do it here. But if you had the white thread, then I would just sew that little end open. Okay, so my two parts are done. My little crochet shell here. It's all sewn all the way around. The little um, lining is done. i just show you how to do it. And see here is where I just, I don't know if you could see it, but I just sewed the, uh, that little opening shut. So now I'm just going to get my lining. And with the seam to the seam side, I'm just going to stick it in here. So now, you could put in um, lavender, you could put potpourri, whatever you want to put in here. It'll be ready for it. See inside? And then if you put like potpourri, lavender, whatever you do, you can then put these in a drawer, hang it in a closet, in your bathroom, wherever you want to do it. You could also just spray with perfume. You can also use this. Sometimes I use this to put jewelry when you're traveling or things you don't want to get lost. Here, I'm just going to put a piece of ribbon. You could also do crochet uh, a long chain. I'm going to do a piece of ribbon. About that big. And then I'm just going to weave it beginning here through these openings. And then that way I could just close it shut. Or actually, I think I'm going to start it here in the middle because I wanted to be able to have my bow in the front. So I'm just going to go through the middle of my spaces here. Pull them through. Just make sure you don't pull it all the way through. Just like that. And going to come out to the front again just like that okay so here's my ribbon I just put it all the way through let me see if I can put that closer so you could see so it's just face through and then once you put whatever you're gonna put in there um, I'm I have some herbs that I'm drying I have some lavender that I'm gonna put in there dry lavender and I'm just gonna make a little um, satchel for the lavender once I put the lavender in there I'm gonna do this Pull it shut. Just fix your little things here. 
and once it's shut, just make your little bow and you got it all set there. It's nice and closed in there. And it's done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a fast, easy project. These make great little gifts. If you want to put other things in there, you can. You could even put some, um, maybe uh, stitch markers, uh, you know, whatever you want to put and give them as gifts. I love the way they look. It's really cute and easy. I hope you enjoyed this. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and please help me um, grow my channel by sharing my videos with your friends and your family. Also share them through media like Google+, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Thanks so much. Have a great day. And remember, God loves you.